it's just kind of. But saying this channel isn't funny would be a funny statement. Um. Yeah. What's going on guys, it's Kyle from Punder Statement here recording and bringing to you the second edition of Fantasy Football. And I apologize if this is like poor quality, I'm recording this from my Samsung laptop. It's not as good as Matthew's and so you might not be able to see the players too well, but we'll see what we can do. So anyway, this video might not be very long, I'm just doing this to give you guys a quick update and help you guys out if you're into fantasy football who to draft and who not to draft at the moment so we're going to go to the player section we're here now and if you guys did not know when you're on the player section and you want to see projections just click on this it's the third bar so we're gonna let that load up as well here we go Okay, so while we're here, while we are here, yes, I got a phone notification. While we're here, um, this news just came in today. Odell Beckham Jr. Um, apparently injured his lower leg in practice, so you may want to watch out for that. By the way, guys, this will basically just be an injury and off-season news kind of thing. But first things first, while well, he's on the screen, Odell Beckham Jr. here, let's see if it pops up in news. Yeah. Okay, so the most recent news, updating a previous report after it said Beckham was forced to leave practice early after injuring his ankle. Yeah, lower leg, something. But updating a previous report, Beckham um, was pleated and cut, so he got hurt with another cleat. But he'll be fine. So, if you guys are worried about that injury, he's actually going to be okay. Now, the bigger news, if you guys have not heard, we have two running backs that are up for question. And that could hurt your team. Yeah. Okay, so first, um, the bigger news, um, Le'Veon Bell had missed a drug test, I believe. I'm going to check the news card in a second, but I'm pretty sure he missed a um, test. And he's facing a four-game suspension, which could be really big for your team. If you like mainly focus on your this guy being your best guy, you could really struggle in the first four weeks, so you may want to watch out for that. I will give you guys the accurate report now. Sid... Here, let's find the first report of it. Yeah, 22nd. Um, Le'Veon Bell um, could be given a four-game suspension by the NFL for, yeah, missing a recent drug test. Um, so his projection went from being like 240 all the way down to 188.4. Once again, this is by projection, not like what's actually going to happen because you never know what gonna, what's going to happen. It's fantasy football and everything changes every year. And the other running back news is Ezekiel Elliott. I'm just going to pop up the news first time. Um, there's an investigation that he was in, involved with a domestic, domestic violence allegation. If I said that right at all. If I didn't, let me know. But this could be a serious problem because, number one, that's just a problem, especially because he's a rookie. Because if you can't trust him, then you never know. He might end up in jail. Who knows? If we have another Ray Rice event, that wouldn't be good for him. Especially because he hasn't even played his first game yet. So it's just, it's just a guy to look out for. That makes um, Todd Gurley, not Adrian Peterson, the highest projected running back. Which is pretty cool because I had him last year and I might want to trade for him. And Jamal Charles is out. I didn't even hear about that. Does that just mean his... No, he's just on the training camp pup list. Yeah, the preseason pup list. Um, yeah, he's on track. So, Jamal Charles, another player to look out for, but he should be ready for the regular season. And that's all that really matters at the moment. So that about does it for 
running backs. Um, let me quickly check tight ends because I'm not exactly sure. I might have missed a news event. There's been a whole bunch of stuff happening recently. <coughs> okay. Wow. Rob Gronkowski's projection went up. Yeah, they change the projections every once in a while. And, s and most times they're actually right. Um. So, yeah. Um, Gronk went up a little bit in projection. I have Jordan Reed. He stayed the same, if not went up. All the tight ends seem to be going up a little bit. Just something to look at, just in case. And if anybody in this league is looking at this video, you may want to check out these um, tight ends because there's a lot of ownerships with people like Kyle Rudolph. Um, Matthew could get a way better player if he, um, he looks at it. I might pick up Gary Barnage if I want. Nah, but I'll probably keep Delaney Walker, and I don't want to have three tight ends on a team. Oh, and by the way, if you're not a Ravens fan like I am, you're not going to know this news at all. But in practice today, um, Justin Tucker, the Ravens kicker, hit a 69-yard field goal. So if he pulls out a way better performance than what he had last year, that's definitely a kicker to look out if you're drafting. Once again, that's probably not for a late round pick. Not until a late round pick, but definitely a kicker to look at if you're trying to get um, one of the best. And also, Steven Goskowski is another one to look at because the Patriots seem to score all the time. <laughs> so that gives you a lot of points just for extra points. But anyway, guys, as long as there's nothing to check up on in the quarterback section, because once again, I try to keep myself updated as possible with... Um, football news so that I can update you guys with quarterback and all of fantasy football news for that matter. I was just looking at quarterback and it trained my mind. But um, also leave any suggestions for how we can make these videos better. This is only the second one. So just let us know because we're trying to make these videos as most entertaining as possible and most helpful as possible. So just let us know. But anyway guys, that about does it for this video. We, not we, because it's just me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like because it really helps. And because, duh, <laughs> if you liked it, then you should like it because that would make sense. And don't forget to subscribe for more daily content. And we will see you guys in the next video.